Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how to create and configure a connection pool using DBCP data source. Uh, many Apache projects support interaction with relational database DBCP, one among them. Uh, creating a new connection for each user can be time consuming, uh, that often requiring multiple seconds of clock time. In order to perform a database transaction that might take milliseconds, opening a connection per user can be unfeasible in a publicly hosted internet application where number of simultaneous users can be very large. Uh, accordingly, developers often wish to share a pool of open connections between all of the application current users. The number of users actually performing a request at a given time is usually a very small percentage of total number of active users. And during request processing is the only time that a database connection is required. Right? So I hope you understand why we require database connection pool. So if you have remember in my previous video tutorial we had created this project how to take connection from mysql data source so i'm going to copy this project and i'll make another copy of this project in the same workspace and there i'm going to show you how to uh, how to uh, configure how to create or configure uh, connection pool using apache dbcp so here i will give apache db cp data source connection pool then and let me close my previous project and i have created this project over here now this lib contains only one jar that is called my mysql connector jar but if you want to work with the apache dbcp then you require some extra jars to be you know in your class path so these jars you can download from here apache dbcp so first of all you need to download commons dbcp so if you go to the official website of uh, dbcp then they have given in the header you can say you can see apache commons dbcp that is the latest version and that is uh, valid for JDBC 4.1 that is the latest version of JD, JDBC uh, and this is valid for the Java 7 and upper version means I am using JDK 1.8 so that is valid for me if you are using older version of JDK like Java 6 then you can download this GIF distribution file and if you are using uh, like uh, java 4 or 5 then you can download this so i have already downloaded this version of dbcp and second distribution binary will have to download that is apache commons pool and this is the latest one that is valid for the java 6 and our version so this is i have downloaded uh, if you if you are using jdk previous version like uh, java 5 then you may use uh, this uh, distribution file so these are the things you will have to download and finally you will have to download apache common loggers and that is available on the apache website as well so that that is the latest version 1.2 so that is already this uh, this distribution file already i have downloaded and kept in my local drive so these are the files are here so let me add first of all a common loggers jar so here this jar will have to add in your class path so let's copy the jars in leaf folder in this project and next jar will have to take apache dbcp commons dbcp this jar you required so let's copy and finally required common pools this jar so these are the jar you can download from the repository okay so all jar plus in our class path now let's add these jars in our class path so go to the build path configure build path then select libraries then add jar you will have to select and in this project go to the lib directory and add these three jars so all four jars i have added in my class path now 
all dependent jars in our class path. Now here only I'm going to make change in the DB util program and client program will be as it is. So here client program is nothing but it's taking connection uh, from data source and that's creating the statement and after that that's getting a result set and th this result set just I'm iterating and displaying the record. So here I'm going to show you how to configure uh, a connection pool using Apache TBCP. So here I have used uh, MySQL data source. So instead of MySQL data source, I'm going to use uh, Apache provided DBCP class, uh, which is the one of the implementer of data source. So that is nothing but the basic data source. Say name of this is data source itself. Now I'm going to comment this line of code because this is well valid for the MySQL data source and you have to instantiate this data source new basic data source so this is having a default constructor this class is having a default constructor then you can initialize now let's call this method like set driver class name so setting driver class name is basically it's optional whether you want to set it or does not doesn't matter from jdk 1.6 so this is basically optional still i'm going to set it now next property i would like to set database url so i, I would say set there are a lot of setter methods there so database url now database username and finally we are going to say database password and here so these are the property will have to set these, these three properties are mandatory to set this is optional one and there are a lot of properties which is optional if you do not set apache dbct cp will take the default value like uh, here i'm going to set data source dot set mean idle so how many connection we want to be ideally present in the uh, connection pool now you can say max idle so i'm going to take one one thousand something like that. so if you go to the this class basic uh, data source then you have a lot of setter methods to set values uh, as per your requirement right so as a application owner you must know uh, i mean how to how many concurrent user is hitting per day uh, every second or every minute in your application so accordingly you need to set values in this data source now this data source is basically going to return from here so everything now uh, set up and you, you can i can show you my sql file here uh, I don't need to run this DB script. This DB script already we had run in previous project. So this database is already created and you can see there are three records in the database. So all we are set to go. Now let's run this project and see this is working for fine or not. So let's go to the client program and let's run. Now we are getting no suitable driver, right? So let's see what's the problem. Okay. So we have made some mistake. So so here uh, dry, let, let, let's check this key is present in this properties file or not so that is there driver class name and how we have registered okay so we have made mistake we should have retrieved this value from the properties file just I have to do like this so these are the value we are retrieving from the properties file so um, but uh, this was giving me the key only instead of retrieving value from the uh, property file now it's good to go now now let's run and we got the output right 
means now apache dvcp connection pool is almost created right now uh, if you would like to explore i mean about the basic data source then you can go to the google and you can uh, go to its official website and you can go you can see the documentation for it so this documentation you can see a lot of theater methods they have provided so if you look into this class then this class provides a lot of setter method to set different setters and getters which is like a, just like a java means so this provides a lot of setter method to uh, set different kind of properties like we have used like set ideal set mean ideal saying that sets the minimum number of ideal connections in the pool so you have a different setter methods and you have to choose on one of the property which is appropriate for your uh, application and accordingly you need to set so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and this example is pretty straightforward i'm not going to further explore it so if you are following my previous video tutorial then uh, easily you can understand and this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will uh, specify in the uh, video description so and all dependent jars i'm going to uh, keep in this project so once you download this project then only you need to import in your uh, eclipse or so whatever id you are using and uh, don't forget to run this db script in your mysql database right and once you do that then easily you can run this client program and uh, you will see you will get this kind of output on your console so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial